Space Plane 2014 now has the capability to control our dimensions using Excel. In this example, I want to drive the height of my rifle holder from the world origin. I'll use my move tool to establish the dimension and then add that action to the groups tab. We can also rename our groups to make it easier to organize. For the next examples, I'll use my pull tool in a couple different ways. First, I'd like to control the thickness of the base and I'll add that to the groups tab and rename it. Next, I'll control the width of the base by double clicking on one of the outer faces to select the entire outer face loop and adding that to the groups tab. And lastly, I'll use my pull tool to control the length of my rifle from the front all the way to the end. Once my groups have been established, I can now go to the Excel tab to create my dimensions table. As you'll see here in a moment, the dimensions table will display the current value as well as allow me to enter in target values. Now, a lot of the user requests have been to be able to use formulas in our target values. And thanks to Excel, we can now do that. I've got a couple more target values to enter. I'll just type in and link the base thickness, the base widen, and then the rifle length. And then now I'll go back to Space Flame and hit the Update tab. You'll see that my model has updated dynamically to reflect the changes from my Excel table. This is just one of the many new enhancements brought to you by Space Flame 2014. I did promise you that I'd show you where that Excel add-in is located in the options. And if you go down to the add-in section, you'll see Excel Dimension Editor. And you'll want to make sure that box is checked in order to activate that new function. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.